Hello my dear students, today we are going to solve exercise 3.2 from the textbook of CBSC board NCRT Mathematics of grade 6. So let's start. Exercise 3.2. Here this is the first question. What is the sum of any two odd numbers, even numbers? Uh, we will write the answer for this question with the help of example. So first we will take the example for odd numbers. Here I am taking two odd numbers 1 and 3. When I add them, I will get the answer as 4, which is even. Okay, 1 and 3 are odd numbers, but I am getting the answer as even. Let's take one more example. Uh, 5 plus 7 gives 12. Here 5 and 7 both are odd numbers, but I am getting the answer as the even number. So, the sum of any two odd numbers is even. Okay. Now, let's take example for even numbers. Now, I am here taking 2 and 4. When I add them, I will get the answer as 6. So, here 2 and 4 both are even numbers and I am getting the answer as even number only. Let's take one more example. 6 plus 8 gives 14. Here also, I am getting the answer as even only. So, the sum of any two even numbers is even. Okay? Now, let's move to the second question. The second question is, state whether the following statements are true or false. Now, we have to write um, the statement is true or false. For that, what we will do, we will discuss for each and every statement and then we will write true or false. Okay. So, here the first statement is, the sum of three odd numbers is even. So, let's take three odd numbers. Uh, I am taking here the odd numbers as 1, 3 and 5. Three of them are odd numbers. When I will add them, I will get the answer as 9, which is odd. Uh, let's take one more example. 7 plus 9 plus 11. When I will add these three, I will get the answer as 27, which is also odd. So, the uh, statement, the sum of three odd numbers is even, is false. Okay? Now, let's check for the second statement. That is, the sum of two odd numbers and one even number is even. So, for this also, we will take example. Uh, here, I am taking two odd numbers as one and three and one even number as two. When I will add these numbers, I will get the answer as six, which is even. Let's take one more example. Here I am taking 7 and 9 as odd and 4 as even. When I add these numbers, I will get the answer as 20 which is also even. So the statement, the sum of two odd numbers and one even number is even is true. Okay. Now we will move to the next statement. That is the product of three odd numbers is odd. Let's check with the help of example. Here I am taking three odd numbers that is 1, 3 and 5. When I will multiply them, I will get the product as 15 which is odd. Let's check with another example. Here I am taking 7, 9, 11. These three numbers are odd. When I will multiply them, I will get the answer as 693 and this is also the odd number. So, the product of three odd numbers is odd is true. Okay? Now, let's move to the next statement that is, if an even number is divided by 2, the question is always odd. Let's check with the help of example. Now, here I am taking example as 10 divided by 2. When I will divide the 10 number by 2, I will get the answer as 5, which is odd, as they said. But, if I divide 8 by 2, then I will get the answer as 4, which is even. So, the question may be odd or may be even. So, it will not be always odd. Therefore, the statement, if an even number is divided by 2, the question is always odd, is false. Okay? Now, let's move to the next statement. That is, all prime numbers are odd. For that, first we will write here all the prime numbers. Those are here, see. These are all prime numbers. When you will uh, look carefully at the numbers, you will understand that all the numbers are 
odd but just one number that is 2 is even so we can't say all prime numbers are odd so it is false okay so let's move to the next statement that is prime numbers do not have any factors but in my last video i have explained about you uh, 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 explain you about the prime numbers that all prime numbers have two number of factors those are one and that number itself so they have two number of factors um, therefore this statement is false okay now let's move to the next statement that is sum of two prime numbers is always even let's check with the help of example here I am taking two prime numbers as 5 and 11. When I will add them, I will get the answer as 16 which is even. But when I will take the two numbers that is 2 and 3, when I will add them, I will get the answer as 5 which is odd. So the answer may be even or odd. Therefore the statement sum of two prime numbers is always even is false. Okay. Now let's move to the next statement that is 2 is the only even prime number. Yeah, just we have seen now only. Uh, just because of this number we didn't uh, write true for that statement that all prime numbers are odd. Hmm. So this statement is true. Now let's move to the next statement that is all even numbers are composite numbers. No, just now we are saying that 2 is an even number and it is a prime number. So, we can't say all even numbers. So, uh, this statement is false. Next, we will move to the next statement. That is, the product of two even numbers is always even. Let's check with the help of example. Here, I am taking two even numbers that is 2 and 4. When I multiply them, I will get the product as 8 which is even. Okay. When uh, I'll multiply with 6 into 8, then I'll get the answer as 48, which is also even. Therefore, the statement, the product of two even numbers is always even is true. Okay. Now, let's move to the, uh, no. Here, we end up with all the statements. So, let's write uh, one by one for true or false. Okay. The sum of three odd numbers is even. False. The sum of two odd numbers and one even number is even. True. The product of three odd numbers is odd. True. The if an even number is divided by two, the quotient is always odd. Is false. All prime numbers are odd. False. Prime numbers do not have any factor. False. Sum of two prime numbers is always even. False. Two is the only even prime number. True. All even numbers are composite numbers. False. The product of two even numbers is always even. True. Okay. Now we will move to the third question. The third question is the numbers 13 and 31 are prime numbers. Both these numbers have same digits 1 and 3. Find such pairs of prime numbers up to 100. For that, we will write first all the prime numbers up to 100 and those are here. Now, let's check one by one. Uh, for two digit number, we have to start from 11. Um, no, then 13. They have already given that 13 and 31 are uh, having same digit. Next, we will move to 17. So, let's check there is 71. Yeah, we have 71. So, 17 and 71. Next, we will move to 19, but we don't have 91. Next is 23, we don't have 32. Next is 92, we don't have, sorry, next is 29, we don't have 92. Next is 70, uh, sorry, 37, we have 73. So, we will make the pair of them. Next, um, 41, but we don't have 14. 43, we don't have 34. So, 47, we don't have 74. Uh, 53 we don't have 35 for 57 we don't have 75 next is 61 we don't have 16 for 67 we don't have 76 then next is 79 we how huh, yeah we have 97 so we will make the pair of them next is 83 we don't have 38 next is 90 uh, 89 we don't have 98 so these are the pairs the prime numbers which have the same digits up to 100 are 
थर्टीन एंड थर्टी वन थर्टी सेवन एंड सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटीन एंड सेवेंटी वन एंड सेवेंटी नाइन एंड नाइंटी सेवन ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन राइट डाउन सेपरेटली द प्राइम एंड कंपोजिट नंबर लेस दैन ट्वेंटी लेट्स राइट ऑल प्राइम नंबर्स अप टू ट्वेंटी आर टू थ्री फाइव सेवन लेवन थर्टीन सेवनटीन नाइनटीन and all composite numbers up to 20 are now which all numbers we didn't write those we have to write for this that is 4 6 8 9 10 12 14 15 16 18 and 20 okay now let's move to the fifth question the fifth question is what is the greatest prime number between 1 and 10 here only you can check the greatest prime number is 7 because after 7 there is a two digit number which is greater than 10 so the greatest prime number between 1 and 10 is 7 okay now let's move to the sixth question express the following as the sum of two odd primes okay let's start 44 44 we can write as 13 plus 31 or 41 plus 3 or 7 plus 37 Okay, these are the three ways we can write or we can express forty-four by using two odd primes. Okay, next is thirty-six. Thirty-six can be expressed as thirty-one plus five, or twenty-nine plus seven, or thirteen plus twenty-three, or seventeen plus nineteen. So these are the four ways. we can use to express 36 by using two odd primes okay next is 24 24 can be expressed as 5 plus 19 or 7 plus 17 or 11 plus 13 okay these are the three ways we can express 24 as the sum of two odd primes next is 18 18 can be expressed as 5 plus 13 or 7 plus 11 okay these are the two ways we can use to express 18 as the sum of two odd primes uh, while writing in the exam you can use only one way okay there is no need to write all the ways so let's move to the next that is seventh question give three pairs of prime numbers whose difference is 2 and such prime numbers are called as twin primes okay so let's write answer 5 and 3 these are the two primes we can find difference as 2 these are the two twin primes and 7 and 5 okay and 13 and 11 okay these are the three pairs of prime numbers whose difference is 2 Next, we will move to the eighth question. That is, which of the following numbers are prime numbers? Okay, let's write first all the numbers. Okay, as you all know, twenty-three is a prime number. Fifty-one is a composite number. Thirty-seven is prime number, and twenty-six is a composite number. Okay, you can easily write this such type of answers if you have perfectly bracketed the prime numbers. Okay. Next is ninth question. Write seven consecutive composite numbers less than hundred so that there is no prime number between them. For that you can use this table. Okay. Ah, uh, here if you carefully look, you will understand that the circled ones are prime numbers and scratched ones are composite numbers. Now here. Ah, uh, eight. Ah, uh, the in between eighty nine and ninety seven you have. Six digits, seven digits. Sorry, which are compose uh, seven numbers, which are composite numbers. Okay, so the seven composite numbers, consecutive composite numbers, less than hundred are ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six. Okay, now let's move to the question number ten. Express each of the following numbers as the sum of three odd primes. Let's write. First one is twenty one. Twenty one can be expressed as three plus five plus thirteen, 
or 11 plus 7 plus 3. Okay, these are the two ways we can use to express 21. Okay, next is 31. 31 can be expressed as 19 plus 7 plus 5 or no, sorry, we have only one way to use, uh, to write 31. Okay, the next one is 53. We can express 53 as 43 plus 7 plus 3 or 7 plus 17 plus 29 or 5 plus 17 plus 31 or 11 plus 19 plus 23 or 3 plus 19 plus 31 or 5 plus 19 plus 29 or 3 plus 13 plus 37 or 13 plus 17 plus 23 or 11 plus 13 plus 29 or 41 plus 7 plus 5 or 5 plus 11 plus 37 or 3 plus 11 plus 47. These so many ways we can use to express 53 as the sum of 3 odd primes. But you can write only one which, we, which will be easy for you. Okay. So the next one is 61. 61 can be expressed as 5 plus 13 plus 43 or 19 plus 11 plus 31 or 7 plus 17 plus 37 or 13 plus 11 plus 37 or 7 plus 13 plus 41 or 3 plus 17 plus 41 or 7 plus 11 plus 43 or 17 plus 13 plus 31 or 5 plus 19 plus 37 or 7 plus 23 plus 31 or 13 plus 19 plus 29 Okay, so these many ways we can use to express 61 as the sum of 3 odd primes. Okay, you can just remember only one way. It's okay. So, let's move to the 11th question. That is, write 5 pairs of prime numbers less than 20 whose sum is divisible by 5. So, let's write. Uh, we can use 2 plus 3 uh, which is equal to 5 which is divisible by 5. Next is 11 plus 19 gives 30 which is divisible by 5. Next is 13 plus 2 is equal to 15 which is divisible by 5. Next is 13 plus 7 plus 20 which is also divisible by 5. Next is 17 plus 3 plus uh, sorry 17 plus 3 gives 20 which is also divisible by 5. And so the pairs are 2, 3, 11, 19, 13, 2, 13, 7 and 17, 3. All these pairs are less than 20 and which are prime numbers. Okay. So, let's move to the next question. That is 12th one. Fill in the blanks. So, let's fill the blanks. First one is a number which has only two factors is called a prime number. Okay. As you all know, a prime number has only two factors. Next is a number which has more than two factors is called a composite number, of course. Okay, one is neither prime number or composite number, right? You all know this. Next is the simplest prime number, uh, sorry, the smallest prime number is 2 because prime number starts from 2 itself. The smallest composite number is 4 because before 4 all are uh, both are prime that is 2 and 3 and 1 is not a prime nor composite. So the smallest composite number is 4. The smallest even number is 2. Okay. So we here finished exercise 3.2. So if you like my teaching then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt regarding these questions you can ask me in the comment box. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.